Hi and welcome. This is another brief and impromptu video that showcases how the mechanics behind the Sync Z turn can be applied, at least partially, to solve different situations. In this case, a section of F-14A Tomcats is tasked with intercepting a bandit heading at a low altitude toward friendly assets. Usually this is a no-brainer for any Rio. The 1960s UG-9 enables finding targets at incredible ranges, and there is often plenty of time to compute the intercept. However, this may not always be the case. What if threat is called, or a bandit uses terrain masking to hide from the radar? Or what about a jamming bomber that can deny range determination until very short range? The Sync Z turn highlights a minor issue, the lack of a B-scope for the front seater. Since drift is the centrum mundi of this maneuver, and the azimuth is easily observed there, we either need track while scan, or the Rio providing instructions. For this test, being on my own, I use Tweez Auto and MLC Off, just in case. To spice things up, I spawned the Bandit closer than 20 nautical miles. As we know, the vector in the TIDAS shows all the information we need to skip the point and assess step. Ergo, the pilot can immediately maneuver to place the target at a synced azimuth of circa 45 degrees, using the TID readout to monitor the ATA. Given the short range, it didn't take long before I turned to pure pursuit whilst gently diving to match the bandit's altitude. In retrospect, and these observations will become immediately visible watching TAC view, the manoeuvring room was probably too much, and I blame the lack of a Rio for that. A human in the back seat would have immediately seen how the geometry was close to 60-70 cut, or 130-140 HCA if you prefer, thus alerting the pilot that such a great amount of room was not necessary. A glance at the DDD, even in PD mode, was all that's needed. As virtual crews, we should always aim to use any little bit of information the scenario and the avionics give us. That's how we build better situational awareness, which in turn allows us to do better in any situation. Back to the intercept. After our section settles behind the bandit and VIDs it as a fitter, whose call sign is probably low poly 1-1 or something, we see how it turns away from the friendly assets whilst we happily return home. Tack view clearly confirms the initial impressions. Given the amount of cut, the sink azimuth could have been a bit more conservative, leading to a cleaner and closer rollout. On the other hand, the delay in the turn has a potential benefit. The fighter is potentially less visible to the bandit scanning outside, as it tends to drift closer to the cold aspect rather than flanking. Food for thought, I guess. Thanks for watching and take care.